Okay, for those of you who did not finish this today in class, I'm putting a helper video for you to show you how to do this and also to help you with a couple of the examples. Now, if you finished it in class today, when I asked you to, you got 20 extra credit points, meaning instead of 50 points for turning it in, I gave you 70. If you're doing it now, it's still worth 50 points. You just lost that extra credit opportunity because you didn't complete it in class when most of you were in class this morning. But here's the video for how to do it. So when you click on the assignment, you just see this and you're like, I do not know what to do with this at all. Thanks a bunch. Okay, so let me also open our standard counting Jamboard. So we did a review this morning. We looked at some examples like this and we said, if we were counting, let me come back. If we're counting with standard counting, if we had notes that are connected like a whole note is, we would put dashes. We'd say one, two, three, four to connect them. If we had notes like half notes, we'd say one, two, three, four. Notice how with my voice, I'm holding those notes together, right? Holding those counts together. If I was counting quarter notes, it would just be like one, two, three, four. Everything is separated. None of the numbers are, are connected with a like dash, right? And when we get to eighth notes, right, that's notes that are connected like this, formerly known as like saying T, 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 T versus like ta, 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 we would say one and two and three and four and. So that's what you see here, one and two and three and four and. The shorthand for writing that, rather than writing out the word and over and over again, is going to be this plus, right? One plus two plus three plus four plus. But when we say it out loud, it's going to sound like one and two and three and four and, okay? Thinking that the, word, the little symbol of plus meaning and. We don't have any examples that have this on this current assignment, but for future stuff, we do have some of these 16th notes, which you may have heard as tika tika or tika taka, depending on what you learned, what your elementary teacher taught you. But if we're counting those on standard, we're actually going to use this abbreviation. So we have some numbers, one, e, and a. Uh. So I wrote it out above that in a little parentheses. One, e, as if we're saying e, e, a double e, and if there's an eighth note, which just kind of lines up with this one, right? Uh. So one E and, uh, and I wrote that out like one E plus A, um, just to shorthand it, right? And you're like, why do I have to do this, Mr. Because if we look at each placeholder, we're looking, there's four beats, two, three, four, one and two and three and four, and then we have here one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So there's like a placeholder that shows you where to move that beat through. To give you some examples of that, we did these as a class. We said, if we had just these quarter notes, We'd say one, two, three, four. If I did number two, I would say one. I put two inside these parentheses because two is quiet, right? Since two is quiet, one, three, four. Beat two would be quiet, right? If I was doing number three, I have an eighth note, quarter, rest, eighth note. I would say one and two, three, four and, right? And that three is like a whisper and it's in parentheses because it's a quarter note rest. Um, if we look at any of these other ones, maybe like number six, for example, we have three in a row that are rests. So we would put number one in a parenthesis, number two in a parenthesis, number three in a parenthesis. Number four would be a real note, right? It would be just its real count. Okay, another picture that kind of helped us visualize this is this one. And this is one that I would keep handy when you're actually working on the screen that's to the left, right? We're looking at these kind of like little placeholders. So here's our first beat. And for our assignment over here, each of these, if you think about them like a placeholder, kind of like we do in math, we're looking at what's in that spot. Is it a quarter note, with, so where we would write one? Is it a pair of eighth notes, where we would write one and? Or is it a rest, where we would put one in a parenthesis? Okay? Then we look at our second beat. We would put, is it two, is it two and, is it two, but in a rest? Is it three, three and, three in a rest, four, four and, four in a rest, right? And so if we look at these rhythms here, Let's see if I can adjust this window so they can sit side by side, almost. Just scoot this over. There we go. We can see, okay, so this one has a quarter note in the first place. Okay, so a quarter note means I'm going to put one. In the second place, I see another quarter note. Okay, another quarter note, I'm going to put two. Okay, so maybe I'll start, start writing that. One, two. We're not going to put any spaces inside stuff. We're going to make everything kind of close together. The only thing is if there's a plus, it's still close together. If there's parentheses, everything is close together. It's the way that it sort of reads what you're typing. And one, two. If I look at my third beat right here, that's going to be three and because there's eighth notes. So I write three and. Put a little plus sign, three plus. And then our last beat is a quarter note. So that last quarter note, if I look, a quarter note is four. Add four. Now if I click out of that box, if I got it right, it's going to just go white and you'll see some colors pop up. 
Boom. That means I did it right. Okay. If I go to the next one now, this next one has eighth note in the first spot, so that's going to be one and. In the second spot, it has two and, because there's another set of eighth notes. There's another set of eighth notes, three and. So it should have one and, two and, three and. One plus two plus three plus, right? And our last beat is a quarter note, so I'm going to go ahead and look. A quarter note is just going to be the number four. If it's right, it'll light up white. Boom. Some more colors pop up. And I'm going to do the next example for you, and then after that you're going to kind of be on your own instead of me walking through the whole thing in a video because this one has some rest as well. So if I look in the first place holder spot right here, I have a one because it's just a quarter note. My next spot has a rest, so this would be the spot two. If it has a rest, I'm going to put two inside parentheses, parentheses, two, parentheses. Next spot, place holder beat three has eighth notes, three and, so I'm going to write three plus three and. And beat four, this little rest, has a parenthesis because it is a rest. So I'm going to put parenthesis, four, parenthesis. I'm going to click on that. Boom. When you have completed all 19 examples, then you hit turn in. If you have more questions on that, put a private comment in the assignment.